Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and I've been reading some discussion about the effectiveness of the Hornet gun air to ground mode and how many rounds it takes to destroy unarmored target. So I thought I'd make a little video demonstrating both high angle and low angle strafing in the Hornet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a low angle about 15 degrees, and I'm going to offset my target off the left side of the canopy canopy bow and once it passes I'm going to go ahead and roll on in and I'm going to fly to place the uh, velocity vector right around the 15 degree on the uh, pitch ladder line and align the uh, pipper with the target I want and I'm going to wait for the shoe cue and I'm going to give just a very small little burst less than 50 rounds and about 48 rounds there and I'll pull out and even with less than 50 rounds, I was able to destroy this target. And I pulled out a little bit late so I can demonstrate the rounds going in. Okay, now let's take a look at this from the external view. And the thing to note here is because it's a low angle, uh, the spread is much greater. The higher the angle, the tighter the group. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll do a similar run at a, a high angle strafe, meaning about 30 degrees wire. So I'm going to roll, uh, roll out just a little bit less so I can get myself a steeper uh, dive angle of 30 degrees and also give myself a little more altitude uh, given the higher angle I'm going to be using. And again, I'm going to offset uh, the target off my left canopy bow, but also notice that the targets will be lower on the canopy bow because of the uh, higher angle. And right about there, roll on in. And again, I'm going to place the uh, velocity vector right around the 30 degree uh, pitch ladder line. Align my pepper on the target I want. Altitude. Just a small little press, less than 50 rounds. And roll on up. And again, with less than 50 rounds, I was able to destroy the target. It can actually be pretty accurate when done right. And again, let's take a look at it from the external. And you notice a much tighter grouping because of the higher angle. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.